Good morning guys. I've got to say, when my alarm went off at 5.25 this morning, I was less than interested about getting up and going to the gym. So much so that I'm now running 10 minutes late because I decided to stay in bed for 10 more minutes because I was, I was really trying to convince myself not to go, but I just thought, you know what, Talia, you never regret a workout. You only ever regret not doing a workout. So here we are. It's coming up to 6 a.m. We need to really get a move on. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have enough time at the gym. But oh, I don't know why my map's into my house. I'm literally already here. 23 minutes to the gym. I can take that. Right, let's go. So the thing is, if I don't get up at this time of the morning, I won't be going to the gym during the week because Aiden and I obviously share a car. This windscreen is really not too misty. Um, so yeah, if I don't get up now, I won't have an opportunity to go to the gym today because I refuse to always drive with Aiden to work and then bring the car home. But my current gym workouts aren't anything too hard because I'm currently coming back from an injury. So getting up in the morning, I know I'm not about to, you know, absolutely go ruin my body, but it is still hard to get out of bed when it's just so comfortable. And I also had a pretty bad night's sleep last night. Aiden was just like elbowing me in the head, taking all the duvet. It, it was not a smooth sailing night, but let's go to the gym, get in our morning workout. And I just know for a fact that I'm gonna feel so much better after it. And that is what got me out of bed this morning. I know it's gonna make me feel good. in here really is uh something else isn't it but i don't want to i don't want to blind myself if i'm being completely honest actually I have my sunglasses oh and an air freshener but let me tell you guys two things first thing you never regret a workout have i come out of there feeling like rubbish absolutely not did i get out of bed feeling like rubbish yes but i'm leaving the gym like a new woman i'm sweaty in a new shower but a new woman and secondly bring hand sanitizer all the time guys you do not want to be touching your face after being in a sweaty, gross gym. No matter how many times you wipe things down, you can just never be too certain. But we're going to get moving home. The time keeps on going up on the set nav, so I'm a little bit concerned about getting home in time for Aiden. I mean, he doesn't leave until like half past, so what's it saying? 26 minutes. What time does that get me home for? 724. Right, I was going to do a little what's in my gym bag, but you know what? We will save it for when we get home. And when I'm sat in the driveway before 730, I will give you guys a quick what's in my gym bag. Okay, let's do a super quick what's in my gym bag. Not that, honestly, there's anything exciting. So I obviously always have my keys. I have this YSL key holder. A waste of money, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, she was expensive and she's inconvenient so do not recommend getting one of those but i also have my card holder and then my airpods some lip balm and finally a snack i will never go to the gym without a snack because you never know i might start feeling faint because i don't actually eat any breakfast obviously before i go to the gym because it's 5 a.m and i'm not going to be eating that early and then obviously i always have a big bottle of water that i never drink like i've I've had nothing, so I need to get through this. But let's go in the cars. Look at this mess that I have to deal with back here. This is all Aiden. I told him he can't be doing this in our car. Let's go in and grab a coffee. Something really annoying about my gym. It's not even about my gym. It's not even that annoying, but I have a Starbucks literally next door to my gym, but it doesn't open until 7.30, and I need to be home at 7.30. So there's one more Starbucks on the way that I'm actually gonna look up what time it opens, because if I can ever go to the gym, and get a Starbucks on my way home. That'll be the best day ever. Let's go come on my day. One thing I love about going to the gym in the morning is I always come back to the bed we made. Maybe not too 
my kind of standards but Aiden still made the bed and I'm happy that I don't have to do it but it is just about to turn 7 40 I have just made myself my morning cup of coffee that I'm gonna drink quickly jump in the shower and then I do actually have my admin job today which I start at 8 a.m so I'm gonna quickly do everything that I need to do and then jump online something I've been doing recently is just make myself look a little bit better whilst working from home like I just glue my eyebrows down curl my lashes put on this bondi sands eye brightening cream which i actually really really like and also doing something with my hair i'm probably actually just going to put it up today because it's a bit greasy from obviously sweating this morning it's not hair wash day and putting in this color wow stuff to just kind of glue it down but i just find that it just makes me feel so much better about myself when i'm working from home like i don't have any meetings or anything like there's not necessarily a reason why i get ready for the day but just makes me feel a little bit less gross staring at a screen all day i don't wake up at 5 a.m every single day guys like i do this two or three times a week and only on the days that i work but something i love about it is the fact that i don't go on any social media until i don't know when like i haven't been on tiktok yet youtube twitter nothing and when i normally just wake up at like 7 7 30 the first thing i do when i wake up in the morning is go on social media i think it doesn't help that it's my job like obviously i want to check my views and see how my content's doing but i just love the fact that it's literally the last thing on my mind when i'm up early going to the gym because whenever i'm at the gym i just listen to a podcast and i just feel like it puts me in a better mood for the day but it is coming up to eight o'clock so i need to get a move on i always like to log on a couple of minutes early just to sort myself out and say morning to everyone so i'll talk to you guys when i'm having breakfast i'm actually so hungry this is the issue with waking up earlier is i get hungry sooner and my whole meal plan just goes out of the window it's not even at 10 o'clock yet and i've just made myself breakfast i don't normally eat before 10 if i'm honest but I feel a bit sluggish and feel like i need a bit of a pick me up so i've just made chocolate porridge and strawberries and i haven't had this in so long but i had it for the first time yesterday and i just forgot how much i loved it so i think i'm gonna start having my scrambled eggs on a bagel for lunch instead and start having my chocolate porridge again for breakfast and then i've also got my vitamin c tablet that i'm gonna have after my breakfast i've just been working away but i'm just for some lunch i just made myself some scrambled eggs on a bagel but i made it with half a cup of cottage cheese in it i'm not gonna lie they don't look the most appetizing i think because cottage cheese has like a lot of water watery stuff in it but let's give it a taste test interesting very very interesting but i hope you all enjoyed coming along on my 5am morning routine i'm not gonna lie it's like midday and I start to crash around about now but hopefully once i've had a little bit of lunch i'm gonna liven up a little bit but make sure you subscribe if you guys aren't already and i should really see you a new one bye